So what do we do now? No more medicine, John. I mean, that retrovir syrup or AZT or whatever the hell they call it, it almost killed Katie last time. You know, it's been a whole year of watching her suffer and giving her poison. And being told over and over again to give it time, I mean, never again. Dr. Maholsky's better than that. He's the one that suggested we take Katie off the AZT in the first place. He's not gonna let something like that happen again. Yeah, well not until they have something better tested or something with longer results. So we're just gonna sit around and wait till that happens, hope for the best? Well, it's better than sitting around and hoping she makes it through the night. I mean, she's the healthiest she's been in over a year and I hate risking that with these experimental drugs. I don't know, I've been hearing about these all natural treatments. Harry's really been helping people out. Listen, I don't wanna throw everything that we can at her, but I don't wanna think that we waited too long, that we could've done something sooner or be told that we're too late. And what about you? You didn't even go to your last appointment. Mm. Katie needed me. She's the top priority. And then when you're too weak to take care of yourself, let alone Katie, then what? Wasn't she playing out in the yard? She is. I don't see her. Oh shit, she's never known. Sarah, get away from here. Hey, what did I tell you, huh? Hey, go to mommy. Katie, go home now. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, go to mommy. No, I'm sorry. Don't, don't even Listen, start, John. She was playing in the yard. She must have just wandered over here. I don't even care how it happened. I just want your fucking kid Listen, away from mine. Just keep your voice down, okay? What, you don't want people to hear? It's not a secret, John. Lauren and Katie already tested positive, and everybody else knows, and they all feel the same way I do. You think I care what you feel? You think I care what you think? Or anybody else in this neighborhood, for that matter? The only two people that I care about are walking into that house behind me. I could give a shit less what you think, but the last thing that they need is some asshole talking about how sick they are all the time. And you think I'm out of line? I'm just worried about the safety of my own family. It isn't that simple. Sarah isn't going to just get it from being around her. Lauren got hers during a blood transfusion in pregnancy. And as for Katie- Cut she the just... bullshit, John! I don't want to hear it! Not even the best doctors in the world can contain the thing. And then there are people dying out there. You think my family's safe living next to the goddamn thing? No. You tell your wife and your kid to stay the hell away from here. Because if I see Katie around my little girl one more time, I'll kill her. I'll kill her myself before the AIDS ever get the chance to. Fuck you, Noah. Don't you talk about my daughter like that. You hear me? If you ever look at her, I swear to God. You hear me, Noah? Wrong. I think he's wrong. You expect me to believe that? I just really need to see Katie. Where's Katie? No, no, she's fine. Hey, she's in her room. I mean, I, I need to know what happened with Noah. Just don't think that we should talk about this right now. You, you, you can't listen to what that guy says. I mean, half the time it's pure ignorance and he doesn't know what the hell he's talking you about. You don't understand, okay? Well, how can I not understand if I've been here every day, I've heard the things he's said, it's nothing new, we've all, we've heard all of it before. He told me that the next time he catches Katie around Sarah, he's going to kill her. He's going to fucking kill her. That's what he said to me. What did you do? What did you say? What? What am I You didn't say anything. What do you want me to do? You didn't say... Uh, how can you just stand there while he threatens the life of our daughter? Because in his eyes, we're threatening the life of his. Oh, come on. You can't put yourself in his shoes when he doesn't do the same thing for us. How can you stick up for that guy? I'm not sticking up for him. I'm not justifying what he said. But I can't keep doing this. You think this is what I wanted? 
You think this is what I had planned for our family? You think this is what I wanted? This isn't what I wanted at all. I can't keep looking Katie in the eyes every day and promise her that it's all going to be okay, knowing that I'm lying to her. And you know what she does? She looks back at me and she smiles because she believes me. I can't do that anymore. You can't just give up. I'm starting to think that a short life with no pain is better than a long life lived in pain every single day. Then leave. Go. Go find that life. And when you find that one, don't come back to this one. John, what are you doing? The hell? <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing, John? Isn't this what you wanted? This isn't what I wanted. This is what you told me you wanted. My family dead. What are you doing? Get the bags off Sit their the head. Sit the fuck down, Noah. Sit the fuck down. This is what you told me. What are you this doing with a fucking gun? This is gun? exactly what you told me you wanted. No, you don't have to do this. You told me you would kill my little girl. Isn't that what you said? I was just. Isn't that what you said to me, Noah? I was just looking out for my family, John. You don't have to do this. They don't have much time. No!
hard for people to understand the pain of watching the ones that you love most dying in front of you. And there's nothing that you can do to stop it. But at least I left you with more than I'll have. Thank you.